it's two. What? Two finger Tuesdays. Two, two. What? Two finger Tuesday. What? Two finger Tuesday. Finger skate selectors. Two finger Tuesday. What up? It's Tuesday, January 10th, 2012. I am Frankie Finger. You're watching an all new episode of Finger Skate Selectives Two Finger Tuesday. That's right. What up, everyone? It's Tuesday again. Thanks for tuning in to the latest episode of Two Finger Tuesday. We've got a lot going on. We're going to go over this week's FSS Honor Roll winners. I've got an awesome little review to show you. And tonight's a shout-out episode. Let's get right into it. Two, Two Finger, Finger Tuesday, Tuesday FSS, FSS Info. info. Alright, I've got a little bit of FSS Info for you. First off, you guys turned in over 50 homework assignments. And again, I had the tough task of picking just two people out of a lot of amazing assignments to make the FSS Honor Roll. So real Real quick here before I announce this week's honor roll students, I just want to say thank you to everyone who turned in a homework assignment. You guys all got A pluses. Oh, yeah. Also, just a little heads up here, I will have another homework assignment to hand out on next Tuesday. So make sure you tune in for that. Alright, so it was hard to do, but I did pick two people for this week's FSS honor roll. The first person had a really cool edit. He had some technical manies and really funny clips. Make sure you check out his homework. The first person is finger borders. Congratulations. And the second person also killed it with an awesome edit, steezy tricks, and a cool creative assignment. Check out his post if you haven't yet. The second person is Lucas Narix. Congratulations to him as well. All right, homies, thanks again to everyone who turned in homework. Be on the lookout next Tuesday for the next TFT homework assignment. Okay, let's keep it rolling here. I've got a very cool little obstacle for today's TFT review, so let's check it out. Two, Two Finger, Finger Tuesday. Tuesday review? All right, here's the obstacle for today's TFT review. It's a Tech Deck triple set combo ramp. This is a brand new obstacle from Tech Deck. They call it a triple set combo because it's three ramps in one. You got the mini half and you can turn it upside down. Then there's another third little obstacle you can do with that. I'll show you more of that in a minute. First, take a look at the box here. It shows some of the skate parks that are available. On the back, it shows more pictures of what the ramp turns into, the three different ramps. Then on the side, it shows how to install grip tape, yada yada. So let's take it out of the box and take a look at it here. First things first, it comes in two pieces like this. It also comes with a set of stickers, which is pretty cool. You can put them on the ramp wherever you want. Comes with a complete tech deck without grip tape installed. Then it comes with a piece of regular grip tape pre-cut and a brand new style of grip tape that just came out from tech deck and they call it sticky trick tape. There's no holes in it, but it is pre-cut to the deck shape, but it's a really, really sticky type of material on both sides. So it sticks to the board and it sticks to your fingers. Be very good for a beginner. And it also comes with these guard rails which also double as supports for the ramp. So I'll show you in a minute here. So to put the ramp together, it's got these two connectors that just snap right onto the other side. So I'll do that real quick here. Once you have the mini pipe put together, you just take these guardrails and you can put them wherever you want. They only give you three for some reason. They should give you four. I don't know if mine was missing one or what, but there's another space here for a fourth one. I've only got three though. But as you can see here, this is one of the ways that the ramp will go. It is a triple set combo. So there's three ramps in one. This is probably the main and most popular setup here. When you have it set up this way, it's a very fun little mini ramp. It's very smooth. There is the connectors here which poke up a bit, but they don't really stop your wheels at all, so that's not really an issue. But it's a very cool little mini ramp. Just like this alone would be a very cool ramp. Let me flip it over and show you how else you can have it. To set it up the second way, as you can see, the guardrails have two little pieces sticking out on the side here. There's holes in the surface of the ramp. All you do is stick them down in there like that. One here and one on the far side. Then you take the ramp, flip it over, and these rails now keep it from pushing down in the center. Then you take the third rail, you insert it in there, and then it's like a handrail down the stair set. Flip it around 180, you can see it's a bank ramp up to the riding surface, then down the handrail. This is pretty cool. Like I said, the mini half alone would be a pretty fun ramp, but this, I think, is a really, really cool bonus. They really utilized every section of it and made it skatable. The only thing I had an issue with on this ramp is the bank ramp has these two sections right here that kind of block your arm when you're fingerboarding up the ramp, but they have to be there for the mini half to work, so it's not really that big a deal. But I think it's a really cool bank ramp. The other thing that brings down the fingerboard ability of this setup is the really short rail. By the time you jump onto it, you've only got like a split second to do another trick and jump off the rail, so it's a really short grind. I think they should have tried to make this rail a little bit longer, but it is what it is. It's still a very cool ramp. Let me show you the last way you can have this ramp. This is actually the third way they recommend setting 
up this ramp to use and to me it's not very fingerboardable at all because you have to ollie onto it and even then it's like a real quick wall ride maybe I'm not using it right maybe it's supposed to be like a Jersey barrier where you do a trick onto the top here grind along the top and then jump off I don't know if you were using it that way it's a pretty high ollie especially for like a beginner but it is what it is so this is the tech deck triple set combo ramp let's look at the three styles of ramps again here you have the basic mini half which is pretty fun it's pretty smooth it's a pretty good width and it's a pretty good size overall when it's set up this way I would give it an 8 out of 10 for fingerboard ability because it's a basic mini half so that's pretty cool here's option number two again the bank ramp up onto the platform and down the stair set with the handrail this way I would give it about a 6 out of 10 for fingerboard ability it's pretty cool and then the third way it's not very fingerboardable I would only give it about a 3 out of 10 but it does fold up like this for easy storage so that's one cool thing about it but for fingerboarding it's not very good but the other two ways are fun so overall I would say this is a pretty good value this ramp was only $20 at my local Target I think it's a pretty good value since it is three ramps in one I would really call it two ramps in one because it's only two ways that are really fingerboardable but they call it three so it is what it is it does come with the stickers it is foldable for easy storage and it does come with a complete and the brand new sticky trick tape that's really too sticky it'll like stick to your fingers and you can pick up the board and move it around but for a beginner that would be really cool and it does come with the regular grip as well so overall for 20 bucks I would say it's not bad fingerboard ability varies depending on which way you have it set up so 20 bucks I think it's a pretty good deal you need to go get you a tech deck triple set combo ramp yeah yeah very sweet make sure you guys get a tech deck triple set combo ramp all right homies it's about that time I've got the shout outs to do remember if you would like to be in the next shout out episode of TFT comment right down there also while you're there ask a question for ask Frankie Friday here we go with the shout outs two, two finger, finger Tuesday, Tuesday shout, shout outs. outs skater 9816 ed skates 25 I'm Strews basketball 1591 X angel 00 tech deck 2310 Eric John 865 classy Derek 545 Daniel Dex mr. fingerboard fanatic Nafi 243 McLayton 55 mr. fingerboards 2021 glow song 1 Vin Van 77 mr. steezy cheese chipmunk 5091 call of duty guy 12345 cow 2241 the skate flips the Trisha 1999 FBF Noah 22 a guy 3759 RC Nitro 27 flip skater 142 mr. Ollie popper toy seller 95 mega Alfie 9 jerkin 542 5k fingerboards skate gameplay skate faux life CW fingerboard has 106 Peterman 3062 Vinny 8063 Sean FB hats 1111 mr. beef ribs master 0 996 and Todd at no comply make sure you guys are still supporting no comply fingerboards.com that's the homies over there and of course Phil at affliction affliction fingerboards.com all right homies that's 42 shout outs to get a shout out in the next shout out episode of TFT remember to comment below also while you're there ask question for this Friday's ask Frankie Friday all right homies thank you again to everyone who turned in homework congratulations to fingerboarders and Lucas Narix and thank you for tuning in to FSS every week I appreciate the support put it up there put it up you guys know what to do send in your frankie mail and or buy an fss product hit up the frankie phone you can text or leave a funny message comment for a shout out ask a question for aff tune in next tuesday for more tft homework thanks again homies i will see you guys sooner than later